Hi friends, uh, I am Rijo. Uh, today we are discussing the topic Configuration Azure App Service. It's a part of AZ104. So what is the learning objective today we are planning to cover? Introduction of Azure App Service and benefit of using Azure App Service. Demonstration of how to we can create the App Service. Uh, first we will go for our uh, introduction of Azure App Service. So what is Azure App Service? So simple things, uh, Azure App Service is a PaaS model cloud platform service. PaaS means platform as a service. Because Microsoft will be provide all the infrastructure. You just totally need to concentrate the coding and functionality. So you can build, host and manage your web application and API without need to worry about underlining infrastructure. Because you no need to worry about any infrastructure. Because everything will be provided from the Microsoft side. So Azure App Service take care of service management, scaling and other technical details. Developer only focus on your application and code function. So now you understand what is Azure App Service. So Azure App Service is a pass model because platform as service, uh, you just only concentrate for your uh, applications. Uh, you no need to worry about anything in the infrastructure. So we will just uh, go for next slide. What is the benefit of using Azure App Service? So first benefit easy of the deployment. We are already told you deploy a web application or it without dealing with the servers uh, setup and because you no need to set up any server because you just only focus on your web application and API. So next one scalability. It allow your application to scale in and out easily uh, when the uh, traffic will be increased and decreased because you can easily scale in and out. When the traffic will be increases, you can easily scale out. And when the traffic will decreases, you can also scale it. Manage the infrastructure because Azure take care of server maintenance, update and security because Azure will be maintained all the infrastructure. We, you no need to worry about any infrastructure. Next one, security. Azure provides security features including SSL certificate, authentication and authorization. Next, multiple language framework support. You can build your application using different program language and framework like .NET, Java, Python, Node.js, etc. Global reach. You can deploy your application in multiple Azure region around in the world, improving performance availability for the user in different geographical location. So you can host your application in different geographical like uh, West, West East US and West US and different region. So where you the customer will be, where you the user will be more accessibility. So that is the global reach. Yes, easy monitor and diagnose. You can easily monitor your app performance setup and alert and diagnose issue using built-in tool. So because uh, Azure App Service will be provided uh, monitor and insight into, so you can easily uh, diagnose your app apps. DevOps uh, easy continuous integration. DevOps will be support for the Azure App Service. So you can continuous integration. Uh, pipeline is easy to automate and deploy in the workflow. Host management. App service offers flexibility pricing plans, allow you to choose the most suitable option based on your uh, app requirement. And also you can uh, easily scale up your uh, app service plan and also you can easily scale out of your uh, service plan. So staying in environment, you can create a staging store to test uh, the new feature and update before deploying them in the production environment. Means once you create the production, you can make same copy of another uh, you are linked the, then you can check that uh, your application is working fine if it's working you can easily swap your application to production to uh, testing okay so now you understand what is the benefit using the Azure app so next we will go for demonstration create an app service so what we will do uh, create a web app in the Azure portal and test the web app so now we will go for our Azure portal. Hi friends, uh, now we will reach our uh, Azure portal. So first step, we need to create the app service. So we will uh, go for here, uh, just type app service. So automatically here coming, okay. If you, because I am already choose before, so they will display here. So just I will select app service. Then after that, you can go for creating app service here, three options plus web app, static web app and web app plus database. So just I will now go for web app. Then after that, uh, here subscription will become resource group. If you have already resource group, choose from here. If you know, just to create the resource group. 
this I will create demo demo web app 01 just click ok then here you need to give the name the name must be unique ok we chose PMS, ok then after that you will get the URL uh, rejoskill.assuredwebsite.net ok so after that publish how do we need to publish the code code or docker container or static web so just I will select for now code ok so runtime stack what is runtime stack means you can select your application framework like a .NET or go or java node or php like this one so once you select this will be depends on the selecting the operating system so microsoft will be automatically select your open. so i just go for now donut this will be select windows automatically if i go for uh, java it's automatically select for the linux okay so just i will select now donut uh, 7 uh, okay then um, windows will be selected region is default i will just go for the east us then after that pricing plans so uh, i am already uh, create one video in my previous section how to we can create the uh, Azure service plan okay so just now we will uh, go for the service plan whatever the default here I just uh, go for the service plan so you are already service plan is there you can select otherwise you need to choose create the new service plan if you enter the new service plan just type it and enter it just I will create new service plan plan name service plan one then create okay so now i uh, create app service plan one and you can select here pricing plan here more pricing plan is available free shared basic and stand all i will describe in my previous video you can just uh, go to refer i just put my link in the below description so i just select the standard one now if you needed to export the pricing plan just click here you can export so just i will now select standard s1 plan and default then i will just go for next deployment so here github because you need to continue its integration you need to select enable and if you can authorize you just give the your repository name and everything okay but currently i just disable it and then i will click for networking so once you need to enable public access you just if you don't want just click off and enable network injection if you don't want just click off so currently i will just go for the default then monitoring so what is monitoring means uh, azure will be provide the one application enable application inside they will monitor for your azure way and then they will give the report so what is the accessibility and everything okay so just i will i don't want currently now i just uh, no i just enable disable and then after that tagging and review and create so just uh, now everything validation is completed you just click create so we are waiting for the completion of our uh, web app, creating the web app so just to wait for the resource group will be completion so now our uh, deployment process is completed we just go for the resource so now you can go for here resources see resource group is demo web app we already created and you can see here default domain okay so here uh, just click your default domain see now your app is web app is running waiting for your content so after that you need to deploy your donut application so now the uh, azure app service is created so here you can see go here and your domain already created this is different and also you can add the custom domain next video i will discuss how to we can add the custom and you can here see the app service plan if you can change any time your plan scale up or scale down okay and also deployment center application enabled i am already disabled so this you need to just click and enable it okay uh, so uh, now this uh, azure app service is created so i just plan to deploy one uh, donut application in this Azure app service okay you I just using the ID uh, Visual Studio code okay so now I just uh, go for Visual Studio code okay okay before you need deployment you need to add the extension just click the extension I will show you what the extension we need okay so we need Azure app service just type 
type here you need to get it and just click and you need to install because i am already installed that way it's showing the uninstall so after we need azure app server we just install it and we need donut uh, runtime installation tool also install it and we need also uh, chash and chash development kit so this one two uh, three service we need also uh, azure account because this one is automatically coming once you install the azure app service okay so just after that uh, now you understand uh, whatever the extension you need to deploy your azure app service right so just uh, now i just make one folder yeah i just go for the movie library now i will just make one folder folder name uh, rejo kids then i just come in here and i just open that folder here because i just create the working environment i just go for more library then i select my folder so now our uh, folder create then after that i just click our powershell command now our uh, terminal is open then we will give the command okay. here i will give the command because i create the uh, donut application so just to create donut no mbs dotnet no mbs just then so mbc mbc just click on so i just enter a uh, dotnet new mbc now the donut file will be created just to go for here you can see see now the controller model object all the file will be created so now the restore success then after that we need to build this application dot net run just enter the command then now the application is building so just uh, wait for the complete building okay so now our uh, building is accessible they will uh, create one url we will we will go for checking this uh, link okay just open our browser Yeah, now our application is uh, built already. So now what our plan, we need to deploy the same uh, web app in our Azure portal uh, here, Azure uh, Rejoskill App Service. So how to, we can do it. We just go for our uh, Visual Studio code again. And here you can see the Azure, just click your Azure. Then after that, you need to select your app service now the app service is coming just click this app service then after that you can right click yeah deploy to the web just click deploy to the web you can browse your file from here yeah now the option will become browse just click browse then you need to select because i create one folder here movie library rejoice just to select that folder so i just select the folder then they will ask record config deploy is missing the just just add the configuration file yeah are you sure to want to deploy your rejoice this override okay just click deploy so always deploy the work because once if you need to create this one uh, again you need to deploy the same process will be continued you can deploy so they will ask always deploy the work yes we need to just click yes so just uh, wait for the uh, running uh, pre-deployment published release just to wait now our project is up to date restoring uh, they are processing uh, deployment now the deployment is check in you need to check this one up you know, just to click this output window we can see the status of our deployment okay so now you can see starting deployment creating sick package and sick package size 1.7 they are processing our deployment so running deployment command is going on 
so now the deployment is success successful so now we will uh, we just waiting for our notification uh, then you can browse here the your website so just uh, wait for the notification complete deployment is on processing now see now deployment rate reduce skill is completed so now we will go for our Azure portal so before what happened before you need to click this one we are waiting for the uh, your content okay so after that now you just again click this one see now our application is deployed in the Azure portal so now you understand how to you can deploy the Azure portal uh, using the Visual Studio. You can also deploy through the your command shell also. You can deploy in the, uh, the PowerShell command in the Azure portal also you can deploy. So now you understand how to we can deploy, right? So my topic now, uh, I think if you, I think you will like my video. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you so much.